Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have got to talk about Rocket Lab and I've had the worst day I've ever had on the stock market since ever. It's been pretty brutal. I've been testing a strategy of uh, selling put options and the unluckiest thing that could have happened happened to me. It was so bad I had to cut my hair. So um, yeah, it's pretty brutal. But I think that for long-term investors, this is a very good opportunity and there's a lot of misunderstanding right now about this deal. So this is normally when I like to make content because I feel that, you know, like I need to be the cheerleader and, you know, make sure that uh, people can keep their conviction. And of course, this is not financial advice or um, this is just my research uh, that I want to share with you and you do with that what you will. So let's get going. I first of all had more time to look at this thing because uh, yesterday I didn't think that it would create such a reaction as, as it as it did. Like it looked like the stock was minus 6% at one point and I was like, okay, the market is taking it as a dilution and, and you know, like the stock price should be down a little bit because of dilution. Um, but that's it, you know, but the 20% really, really shocked me. So I reread this. I had to clear some words because it's very, very technical. And I believe I somewhat understand it. You can, if somebody understands this better, it's, it's very, very technical. Let me know in the comments what I messed up, but I, I tried my best. Okay. So the most important parts of this is uh, that this is a private offering of convertible notes and as I said in many videos, uh, I said that probably convertible notes would be the best way uh, for Rocket Lab to raise money. And that's because if they take a loan, uh, then it goes onto their balance sheet and it's not so nice. We don't like to see that on the balance sheet. If they do a direct equity offering, uh, that would mean that, hey guys, we set up the, the stock printer and you pay in 275 million krona, uh, krona. Uh, <laughs> dollars and um, look if if the market cap was at 2.2 .2 billion which it was before uh, they announced this uh, then this would you know make it logical that the stock price f because this is a 13% dilution so then it would make it logical for a 13% drop but when you do a convertible note a note it's like an in-between so that means that you want to do an equity offering but the stock price is not high enough and it would cause too much dilution so instead you go together with with the guy that is giving you the loan and and you say like look you're gonna give us a loan and that loan we're going to pay a bit of a lower interest on and then as an upside for you uh, if the company is going to do well then if we hit a certain stock price, like let's say $7 or $10, um, then we can pay you back in stock. And then it becomes like an option because if the stock price goes to 15, uh, then they got the loan paid back to them with the stock price at 10, and then they won an extra 50%. Uh, so it's a fantastic solution when it's done right. And what I'm trying to say with this is that they are they are writing here that the offering of the notes is subject to market and other conditions and there can be no assurance as to whether or when the offering may be completed and as to the actual size and terms of the offering. This is what I think that the market has reacted on uh, because they didn't give um, you know an exact thing like the convertible note will be 8% interest and the, the, the note will convert if Rocket Lab goes over $8 because then the market would be able to count. But here is where it gets stupid. Uh, we know that they didn't do a direct equity offering, so they're not diluting people with 13.75%. So if the, the price uh, in the agreement is, I don't know, $7 of stock price or $10 of stock, we don't know what it is, and I, I'm not an expert on this. Uh, I, I just did the calculations on this, then the dilution would be much less. So the worst that can happen is 13% dilution. Uh, but probably because it's a convertible note, we're going to have 7%, 8%. Uh, 
And that's the reasonable amount that the stock should have fallen today. And what did we get today? We got 17%. It doesn't make any sense. This is a complete overreaction. Not to mention the fact that the company is way better. Uh, I'm going to go more into it uh, later in the video, but Rocket Lab did have a bankruptcy risk. It's to me very close to zero, but that risk was there. And the fact that they're able to raise capital, it puts this away, gives them a bigger runway. It, it, it makes the company better. So it, this reaction that the market gave is a total, total overreaction. So then this is maybe the next thing that the market reacted on. The remainder of such a net proceeds from the... Um, so here they're talking about what they want to use this for. And it says the remainder of the net proceeds they want to use for working capital and other general corporate purposes, which may include potential acquisitions and strategic transactions. Uh, from time to time, Rocket Lab evaluates... Uh, strategic transactions and acquisitions of businesses, technologies, and products. So I think that that's pretty cool. Maybe they have an acquisition in mind, and maybe this is why they felt the urgency uh, to do this. So far, I feel that they have been pretty good at acquiring companies that they really needed at the right price. So I'm not against them doing uh, more of that. But again, we didn't get spoon-fed the numbers. So maybe the market didn't like that. And then on top of it, they said, uh, they want to go into a capped call transaction uh, with part of the money. And the capped call transactions are expected generally to, to reduce or offset potential dilution to the common stock upon any conversion of the notes um, and or at Rocket Lab's election offset any potential cash payments. So this was super technical to me. I had to look it up. The way I understand it is... Uh, you can cap uh, the this the how much win the your the other side of the party can make. So let's say that you tell him uh, that look, we're gonna pay you like let's say the stock price goes unrealistically high. So the strike price was seven, and the stock price goes to fifteen. Uh, at which case the the party that is giving the loan they win, they get their principal back, they get interest paid in stocks. And that does 100% by itself. And then they make a deal that, look, we pay you additional money uh, that you get up front, which is extra return for you. But if the stock price goes over 10, then we cap your win at that time. So if the stock price would be 15, then the, the people would get diluted even less uh, than, than was planned. This is how I understand it, at least. So again, they are sort of making sure that the dilution is not so much uh, to the shareholders. Now, I want to show you some very interesting uh, tweets. Uh, Matt Farley, my co-host on uh, Rocket Lab Weekly, he says, I've always stood behind Rocket Lab management today. I did not believe it was prudent for management to put out a 275 million convertible debt offering note without hard terms. Uh, is the 275 million fully convertible to 275 million shares, partially convertible? What are the interest rates? This was also on the back of the facility line by Hercules Capital uh, of over 120 million in December. My thought is that Rocket Lab is planning, to, uh, planning for a bolt-on acquisition in the short term or prepared to announce uh, the next big venture for space infrastructure. I anticipate to hear more at the Q4 earnings call, which is why they released primary uh, preliminary earnings. The call will be mostly focused around neutron delivery or the acquisition. Any thoughts? So I run a startup and I have done a lot of in, uh, negotiations with investors, right? And it is, I completely understand why they did it the way they did it. It's because they can play the investors against each other and they don't go in and say, look, we're going to pay you 8% in interest and this is the, st the strike price. What they're doing is they're announcing that they're doing this offering to certain groups and they're going to go to these groups and say, look, uh, Rocket Lab has specifically vetted you and you know, you're so amazing, you're so nice and you have this special ability and uh, would you be able to think with these terms? You know? And then they go to these people and then 
they say, look, we got 8% uh, interest and you know this strike price from this group. And then they go to the next group, can you do better? Because then we would take you, you know? And depending on the market interest, I believe that this is how, and I, I believe that there will be interest uh, for this. They are able to get a much better deal. Again, I lost a lot of money today because I sold uh, put options. Uh, and yet I'm not angry with them. I understand that on the long term, this is the best thing that they can do for the company. For sure, this hurts on the long term because the market clearly uh, didn't like it. Uh, as for the, this is also on the back of the Her Hercules cap capital of 120 million, that loan was expiring. So I don't know what it has to do with this one. Like they had no choice but to uh, renew that loan. And it seems like they are going to use part of the 275 to pay back uh, the top, uh, the extra loan that they took from this uh, Hercules uh, capital. Regarding this acquisition, uh, yeah, maybe they're potentially looking at something. Maybe it's just a standard text uh, that they're using. Uh, the Q4 earnings call, I believe, is going to be just focused on the future. They already pre-announced the numbers. Uh, they were okay numbers, uh, so there's not really any surprises. For any investors, it's the reason why we would watch that earnings is, uh, you know, are you keeping the Q1 guidance and, um, and how's it going with Neutron? Th those are the only two things. The rest doesn't matter. It was already pre-announced. Then there is this cool guy who also wrote a po post on X that I really like. Maybe that guy was me. So let's do some math. The stock is down today because of dilution to shareholder. This uh, makes sense. If you get diluted 10%, your stock is mathematically worth 10% less. Uh, but if, but in the Rocket Lab announcement, we didn't get to see and read the exact terms. So we don't know how much we are diluted. We, as we are not being spoon fed the numbers, let's do some possible scenarios. To get 275 million as a direct equity offering, Rocket Lab would have to dilute you 13.75% if the market cap is 2 billion and it was more before the announcement was done. Uh, so any market rea reaction beyond this is just irrational. However, Rocket Lab is issuing convertibles, which means that the 275 million will convert at higher market cap uh, that they agree on with the people. So let's say that they agree that the market cap is 3 billion uh, and that's when the notes convert. That means that the dilution is only 9.1%. If they agree that the market cap is 4 billion, then, di then the dilution is 6.8%. Uh, we don't know what they will agree on, uh, but we know that the worst deal they can do is 13.75%. And yet the stock is was still down 20% at the time of me writing it. This is a clear, clear, clear overreaction. So as for the stock, uh, we are at a support line, which I believe very much that we're going to hold because the price is stupid cheap at this point. However, if we are going to go lower, which I think is highly unlikely, then it's probably to hit this line at uh, 364. Going below this would be all-time lows uh, for the company. And again, today I lost a lot of money. But whenever I'm in doubt, I always go, okay, what do we know for sure about this company, right? What is the stable data that, that we can rely on? And how did this announcement, which the market reacted really bad on, how did it change those things, you know? So is this company still led by Peter Beck? Are they still amazing? Uh, you know, do they, are they still the, you know, leaders in small launch provider? Are they still delivering Neutron? Is Neutron still on time? Uh, and all of, to all those questions, the answer is yes. It's still the best company that we know. It's still the company that has guided for all these launches. They have just launched the first one in Q1. We can see in um, the space fight app that these next launches are scheduled. They reaffirmed that they are happening. Uh, it's still the same company that guided for uh, this outlook uh, for Q1, which is almost 100% growth from uh, Q1 2023. And so then the next question is, did this company get worse with having 275 million more in the bank? And the answer is no, it's so much better. It, 
it takes out a lot of risk from your investment thesis that they have more money. It means that they have more runway, they have more options. And you know what else takes the risk out of your investment? A greatly lowered share price. So just compare where the company was when it was here. Um, you didn't know about the 22 launches. You didn't know about the, the 515 million government contract. They more than doubled their backlog. You didn't know about so many things. And yet we are at the same price that the stock was uh, in, you know, almost a year ago. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't mean that it can't go lower. I'm just saying if you planned to invest in Rocket Lab, then the investment at this price has just gotten a whole lot, a lot less riskier than it was. So I know a lot of you have been buying. Let me know in the comments, what did you do today? Did you cry, sit down on the floor and ask for daddy to uh, cuddle you or were you going all in and buying more stocks? I, as I said, I saw many of you uh, did it, which is fantastic. It always makes me happy when retail is smart and is taking uh, advantage of these fantastic offers. So see you in the comment section. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description box below. Much appreciated. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.